Planet Dolan. Who found something in their bathroom wall that ended with the entire neighborhood being evacuated? Who bought a house with drugs illegally baked into it? From the weird to the creepy to the deadly, here are 10 of the most bizarre things people found right in their own homes. My name is Nixium, and today, I'll be your narrator. Number 10. A Severed Head In 1610, Good King Henry IV was assassinated by a Catholic extremist. Henry had spent his entire reign trying to end the bitter religious wars and uplift the poorest workers of France. For that, he was killed buried, and then dug up by French revolutionaries, decapitated and buried again in a mass grave. The remains of Henry IV were moved around so frequently, the body is still lost, but the head was recently discovered in the attic of a retired tax collector. Or at least some believe it was. The DNA appears to be a match, but there are some oddities, such as the fact that the mummified head still contained a brain, despite the fact that the standard practice for kings at the time was to embalm the brain. Number 9. A Live Child Okay, realistically, there's nothing at all strange about finding live children in a house. That's basically the most normal thing in the world, but generally those children are not supposed to be found in a wall. During a bitter custody battle, Shannon Wilfong and her son Richard disappeared for two years. They went to Wilfong's mother's house where they lived in secret, hiding in crawl spaces and secret areas in the wall to avoid social service inspectors after Richard's father was awarded with custody. The child was kept like an animal, never allowed out of the house for two years until they were found because of a tip to the police. Number 8. Shoes Every so often, families in the British Isle will find something unusual when they renovate their homes. They find shoes. Very, very old shoes. Sometimes children's shoes hidden in the walls. Apparently, the practice of hiding shoes in the walls of newly built houses was considered a good luck charm for some families at least over the last century or so. Since some of these shoes are now older than a century, apparently it worked. Number 7. Witch Bottle one of the superstitions surrounding the whole shoe in the wall thing was that it kept witches away. Now this, however, is another less sanitary method of anti-witchcraft protection. You see, there's this bottle and it's filled with human urine, hair, and pins. Now this bottle was buried upside down and was supposed to ward off evil spirits. So just remember that if you're being hassled by a witch, just pee in a bottle with some of your hair and a few nails, that way, 400 years from now, somebody will dig it up and laugh at how dumb you were for doing that. Number 6. A Korean Missile You know, it was probably pretty weird when some people found some old shoes in the walls of their house, but when Sally Ann Whitman of St. Francis, California reached into the insulation of her bathroom walls, she probably wished that she had only found a shoe, because what she actually found was a live explosive from the Korean War. After calling the police, the entire neighborhood was evacuated until the bomb squad showed up. It turns out, the previous owners of the house was a family of war veterans who were known for bringing home souvenirs from World War II and the Korean War. Hello everyone, Nixian was too lazy to voice number 5 in this list, so hey look, it's me, Danger Dolan, I'm here, I'm gonna voice the thing on the list for you, your, your ear pleasure. Let's go. Number 5. Toxic waste. When a man bought a property in Hamilton, Ontario, he already knew it contained about 400 barrels of toxic waste. It was going to need a major cleanup, as the materials were cancer-causing substances like coal tar and roof tar, illegally disposed of by a man who owned a tar products business. What the man didn't expect was that there was not 400 barrels of toxic waste on the property. Knocking down a concrete wall revealed a hidden room with another 400 barrels of toxic waste. And of course the new owner was on the hook for the cleanup cost, because the old owner had died at the age of 97. Back to you, Nixium. Number 4. A well. It took about 25 years of wondering why there was a dip in the living room floor before Colin Steer and his wife Vanessa decided to find out. And it turned out there was a hole in the living room. A 33 foot hole actually, one that had been there for centuries. It turns out the house was built on top of a medieval well which had been there since the 16th century and was never filled in. 
So the family did what any reasonable person would do. They installed a trap door over the well. Number three, percolating meth residue. An Oregon family simply couldn't figure out why they kept getting sick. But when their two-year-old child started developing mysterious mouth sores, that was the last straw. They had their house inspected, and it turned out that the house was once used to cook meth. Apparently, it was used to cook a lot of meth for a long time because it had seeped into the walls and was strong enough to cause severe health problems just from the lingering effects of the leftover chemicals. Number two, toxic secret room. Jason and Carrie Brown moved a bookcase in their home in South Carolina and found a secret room with a note attached titled, You Found It. Of course, the hidden room didn't have any sort of treasure or historical significance. Nah, the note was from the previous owner and it went on to explain that they had abandoned the house. But why? That room was full of toxic black mold that made their daughter deathly ill. Even their doctor told them that they had to leave the house immediately. They just wanted the next owner of the house to know about the problem before the same thing happened to them. And number one, murder victim. So far, we have heard about shoes, missiles, deadly mold hiding in people's walls. But here's an instance where instead of something that can kill you, it's someone who is already dead. It wasn't just any dead person though. It was a person who had been reported missing for 28 years before her body was found. The woman's husband had reported her missing in 1985, but a search turned up nothing until the house was vacated and the body was found in a plastic bin behind a false wall. The discovery made James Nichols, the woman's husband, a prime suspect in what was clearly a murder. But the reason the house was being cleared out is because Nicholas had already died of natural causes, so we'll never know the full story. Check out the latest Dolan Card update, Nixiumville. A new character, heaps of new skins, a new power-up, new level, daily missions, and offline mode. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. And that's it, everyone. See ya.